What's up? What's up? It's Nick Chavez, man, aka Mr. Be Prepared, Not Scared. Um, you see the shirt, man. New self, new wealth. Be prepared, not scared. So, um, I'm at my spot too, by the way. So, y'all see my spot? This is where, where my spot at, where I couldn't come to last week because there were so many people that was here, I couldn't even park for real. So, this is the real spot where I go. See, it's pretty. You hear the water, it's splashing. The water, the water, not the cleanest water, but you know, it's still relaxing. But um, today, we're gonna talk about premium and knockoff, right? So when I was when I was doing this one, it was a lot of stuff going on, man. And I'm I'm gonna put some more of my personal stories. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give somebody I'm gonna give y'all some stories, man. And hopefully it, it help y'all, man. Because like I say, um, just because I do these, man, these is 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 helping me to get to my next level as well. And hopefully, I, I pray that it, it help other people get to that next level or that different level that they wasn't at before you know what i mean or or a better level that they're trying to get to so um and preparing this one right with my notes and stuff um this past sunday in church my pastor preached on the story of nimrod and abraham so i'm, I'm gonna touch up on that and then i'll put in what you know um the stuff that i wanted to talk about the notes but it, it ties together right so Nimrod, if if you don't know, I'm just gonna paraphrase a lot of this stuff, right? You can still read, you can research it on your own um, if you want um, afters, but I'm just gonna paraphrase it because I'm trying to tie some stuff together. So Nimrod was a hunter, a hunter of men, a hunter of uh, of animals as well too, right? Like pulled, known as a, a, a great warrior. Um, he was the king of Babylon. Um, if uh, Babylon, I think that the definition of Babylon is of like confusion, like false god, uh, uh, god, godlessness, like they don't believe they believe in many gods, polytheism, and all that stuff, like all that that false stuff. And and by the way, Nimrod was narcissistic too, and Nimrod was about himself, and he actually wanted to challenge God. So you know the prophecy, you know back then they were big on prophecy. So the prophecy was that um, when Abraham was born, he was going to be the king to take over uh, Nimrod, overthrow Nimrod, and stuff like that, right? So you know um, Abraham was born. They hid him in caves and stuff like that. So by the time he got old enough, you know, like by, Abraham was known as the father of faith. So wherever he went, you know, he moved with um, like faith, like not by always what he saw, but by his faith, what he felt and what he believed there, right? So he placed, he, he used to put like, um, he would put like tents and stuff down, like altars and stuff so that no matter where he at, he would, you know, demonstrate his faith and show, you know, like really like show God like, man, hey, I, I'm trusting in you. Like I, I got that faith or whatever, right? So uh, once, once Abraham got to a certain age, um, it was said that God told him, leave your country or you will die. You know, Nimrod was looking for him. Uh, he was burning male babies and, and, and kids. But, you know, at this time he's older, though. But he was still searching for, you know, to the, the, the kill that because of the prophecy. So still searching for uh, men and stuff like that so he could kill him and burn him. So that was a literal that was a, a, a literal thing. Like, man, leave your country or you will die, right? So what I'm going to talk about is more so like based on like your faith do you got premium faith or knockoff faith or or are you premium or are you knockoff you feel me so um some of us right we get caught in these situations uh with these people or whatever and or or these toxic places right and we don't we just don't want to leave it you know because it's comfortable or our loyalty just allows us to be like look man this is who i was rocking with since i was little i'm gonna keep rocking with him or uh i've been rocking at this certain place since i was younger i'm gonna keep rocking this certain place but that place is really not like not like elevating you to like another place or elevating you to grow right so um, a lot of us, when we get, when we find ourselves in these places, we'll start discounting certain things. So, like, have you ever heard of like, like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, like the 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 dealerships that really sell them, the Ferrari Lamb, the Ferrari uh, shop, the Lamborghini shops? Like, have you ever heard of them like discounting things just so everybody can afford them? No, because they got a high brand, right? So they want to keep their brand high. Um, you won't hear that 
because like I say, like they, they really feel like they got a high brand, they want to keep their brand high, but you'll hear that with like the lower brand cars. Not saying that they, they don't do the same thing, but it's just the branding is different, the target market and who they're targeting is like a different a different place for real. So you might you might hear Hyundai or um uh what's the other one? You might hear Hyundai or Kia's giving discounts, but you ain't gonna hear that. With like, when you go to a, like a Bentley and all that stuff, the dealership, you already know what to expect. You already know what to pay. So like, you know, they don't really have to sell you on anything or give you a discount because they know. First of all, for you coming there, your mindset is already, yeah, I'm on top of the line. You feel me? So with with a lot of us, right? And I was in this place too. A lot of us, you know, your, your loyalty is kind of like your detriment because you, you, you won't look at the red flags or the signs that's there. You'll look at probably like what happened or or the shell, the shell of the person or the shell of the thing that was there that was once a good thing um, possibly could turn out to be a bad thing. You know what I mean? So um, and even if even if you're not a premium item or you're not premium favorite like doesn't mean you can't you can't get there it's like so even just like like if you think about uh somewhere like naming markets or um or nordstrom's as opposed as opposed to uh like forming mills like forming mills if you go to Foreman mills you always go see the sign or you always you say the sign for a minute going out of business or um clearance sale or or whatever you know what i mean like you don't see too much of that at naming markets or or nordstrom's like it's a different type of mindset so i propose that you know like a lot of us we look at it like and have a premium a premium faith mindset or a premium mindset as opposed to that that knockoff mindset man because like stay like you get the relationship right I, matter of fact i talk about a lot i talk about relationships and toxic situations a lot because that's a lot of the things that hold us back from who we really are meant to be or who we are trying to be you know what i mean and it stops us a lot and that's that's me included because you don't want to you don't want to pay attention to those red flags that you see um, you don't want to pay attention to those red flags, but you 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 know you know deep in your pit, like man, look, I'm I'm not supposed to be here or whatever. But you you discount yourself. You dis yeah, that's good, that's good. So you discount yourself so that the other people around you or the other places around you can afford you. Like you're a premium you're a premium item, but you discount yourself to go down to a knockoff so that other everybody else can afford you. Truth be told, everybody is not meant. Or supposed to be able to afford you you know what i mean you're supposed to be where like you're supposed to be in a situation that when you're a premium item you're supposed to be in situations where you're you're premium you're around premium things and other premium items you shouldn't have to discount yourself for someone else to, for someone or other things to be able to afford you man because that's when you'll start going in your head you battling man i'm supposed to be this i'm supposed to be that i'm supposed to be that and then you start getting bitter and then you start looking at the person you with or the place you with like man, i should have been left i i definitely don't need to be here but you already knew that you know the fact that you didn't leave for whatever reason it was the fact that you didn't leave um that's the thing that that's the thing that makes you the maddest because you know that you wasn't supposed to be there anyway but you chose to be there so um and then for today right as y'all can see it's dark it's dark right it's dark it's nighttime so is is no stars is no stars in the sky right so a lot of us, right? The darkness, the darkness is the thing that gets you to where you need to be sometimes. So a lot of us you don't want to be in that dark place. Oh man, I, I man, I need I need this. I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to do this. I'm you don't want to be in that dark place. But that dark place is where you find out who you are and how strong your faith is. Like who you are and how strong you are and what you made of man so like the dark you gotta embrace it because this the thing that gets you like your strongest man like when when you with your your worst time what's gonna come out you is you go is you gonna have premium faith or you gonna have knockoff faith and a lot of times we choose to have knockoff faith be like look god i've been doing this for so long i i mean it's just me it's, it's you take it or leave it but the thing is like say like like all right so i had a conversation like a week ago, maybe like two weeks ago, three weeks, maybe two, three weeks ago, right? So the conversation, you know, I, I explained, yo, um, um, I'm 33, I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be 
this, I'm supposed to be that, I'm supposed to be married, I'm supposed to have a house, I'm supposed to have a house that I'm not renting, that I'm I'm buying, I'm paying for, or whatever, right? So when when I heard this conversation, my question was, okay, cool. If that's what you're supposed to have, right? Like, what are you doing to get you to that point? And like a lot of people say, like, yo, sometimes you come off like a little too, like harsh and it's like for me it's like i like that's one of my that's one of my things right one of my pet peeves or whatever right like i don't like when people present a problem but then like okay so all right you got the problem so what are you doing to try to solve that problem what's the solution for that problem because like i feel like when you complain when you, when you complain and you don't have nothing nothing to do to 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 get out of that problem or you you don't have a solution for that problem it's like man you 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 magnify too much of the wrong thing right so I'm like all right cool so what are you doing to get you out of that what are you doing to build you up or to build you better and it was like man i ain't trying to hear none of that and it's like all right cool once once you're around people that challenge you man like those are the things that 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 build you up like you're around other premium if you're around other premium products right when you like that, that premium thing of like, yo, look, we, we gonna get through this together. Like, what are you doing? Like, how can I help? Or how can I get you out of here? But at, at, at some point, right, you definitely gotta look inside of you and be like, man, what am I doing that's keeping me in this same position? And for me, right, I feel like God keep you in that same position, whether it's, it, it, like, it's gonna be different people, but God will keep you in that same position to see if, you're going to have that premium faith or that knockoff faith if you're going to trust him to bring you out of it or you're going to trust yourself to do what you've been doing like for the past however many years, right? And you don't, you don't have no resolve. You know, like you're going to see like, man, look, you're going to do something different to get out of this. Like what? how many times I got to put you in the same spot to get you out of here, man? Look, I got you just trusting me. You know what I mean? So like for me, right? For the people that know me, right? Or, or the people that don't, like I'll tell y'all, you know, um, I've been trying to open up an assisted living, like I've been trying to open up an assisted living since 2009. So I got 10 years into this, right? So, you know, like, and within those 10 years, you know, sometimes my faith, I, I had I had to knock off faith or whatever, but up until like maybe, maybe like last year, or whatever the case may be, like yeah, 2018 is when I start building that knockoff faith up until premium faith, right? So today, today I go to the county and like I say, for 10 years, today I go to the county and every paperwork that I needed to get approved, man, like it got approved. So now, I'm sorry, 10 years later, right? Instead of me having one assistant living, now we go open up three of them, right? And it's like, when I when I start doing different things, I start putting myself in different positions and start putting myself around different people that were that was going to challenge me. Even when it was hard, like man, it was going to challenge me and force me and force me to grow, right? That's when I start getting different results. So I was I was in I was ten years trying to open up one assistant living. So like when I built my faith up, man, that one that I thought like, yeah, man, I'll be good with just this one, man, God gave me three. Like so my faith my faith had to level up, and then once my faith leveled up, everything else around me leveled up, man. Like, I, I, I wanted, I, I stopped being around some of the people I was around. I stopped doing some of the things I was doing. I stopped being in a lot of the places I was in and stopped putting myself in better places around better people that was going to challenge me and knew some things that I may not have known. I, 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 I grew myself, too to get stronger and better than what I was. And once I did that, like that's when all the stuff start happening. So another little story, right? So look, as I said, it's dark, right? So the same person, the same person that texted me the other day with the whole, um, man, I'm 33, I'm supposed to be married and all this stuff, right? So this same person, like around about the same year, go through the same thing, like the same thing. and. I'm very attentive. Even if I don't say nothing, I'm paying attention and I'm doing certain things. So around about September, October, she always goes, she always go into this thing in, in her shell and she kind of like break down, right? So what I did for her last year was, I say, look, y'all, I brought her a star, you know, from, from the star registry people, right? So I say, look, I got you a star. So look, even when you dark, and you were your darkest times, you 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 know, you were your shell, you depressed or whatever. Look, just look out here, man. You you got a star. So even when it's the darkest out here, that's when 
the stars shine the brightest. When it's the darkest is when the star, star shines the brightest. Whether, like, when, when you dark, you kind of look for that. When you in that dark place, or when it's dark, you looking for the light, or you looking outside for that light. When the whole time that light is in you, you're that light for that thing, right? So if you look at it like that, man, like, you'll, you'll definitely have a, a different perspective and a different mindset to be like look man no matter what happened man i'm not gonna let this i'm not gonna let my faith go down and knock off faith i'm gonna always have that premium faith because no matter what happened i gotta make it I, I gotta go through it i gotta do this and it's like sometimes like with us right we'll align ourselves with with certain things or certain people and then wonder why the same things that just happened to us in the past is still happening to us right so you know once you look once you really break down like when you really like really be honest and truthful with yourself and see where your strengths and your weaknesses are then you can really you can really grow from that right so i'll give you another example like of of me right so i'm saying all this stuff about breaking cycles and becoming a circle and stuff right so in the past my whole thing was you know like when you're mad like i said you be jonesing you're like man i'm, I'm trying to get something i'm yeah i'm trying to get, I'm, I'm mad you feel me so you know this happened like maybe like a couple of days ago, right? Call somebody, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, look, man, look, I'm trying to see you, whatever, 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 whatever. Um, so when I'm driving there, I hear something say, man, you got to change up. Sounded like my voice and everything, right? So I'm like, all right, bet, man. So when I get there, like, it's, it's, it's a little different. So I'm telling them, like, man, look, I don't feel right. I say, you know what? At the end of the day, man, like, this is what I always done in the past. Like, I always went to whether it was sex or whatever, you know. I always went to that thing in the past. I'm like, and that never really did enough. That senseless, senseless sex that it ain't going to come. It ain't going to be about nothing or, or you know, it ain't nothing else going to come out of it. You feel me? Um, I did that and I always stayed, like, in that same type of, that same type of cycle, man. I'm like, man, and in that cycle, I know what's going to come from that cycle. If I keep doing that, nothing's ever going to change. Like, my life ain't going to change. I'm going to keep going through that same cycle the whole, my whole life. I'm not trying to do that, man. I'm trying to become better than what I was yesterday, better than what I was last year, better than what I was in that cycle. So, with that being said, man, like, the hardest thing for me was to be like, you know what? I can't do this. Really, like, to really, like, take away my, 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 my will, you feel me? Take away what, what I wanted to do and really show some self-restraint. And it's like, I felt good about that because then I'm not, I'm not a prisoner to my emotions. Like, I'm not a, pr and, and saying certain stuff, right? You're going to get tested. And how you respond to that test, I really believe, like, a, a really like magnify stuff or manifest itself in your life so if you respond like you always did you're always going to get what you always got but if you respond different like man no nah, man i'm past this man i want better man i'm trying to do better that's when you know that's when better is going to start attracting itself to you and looking for you man so needless to say i didn't do it and i'm going back to my whole my whole look man I need to make sure whatever I do, like it's sort of up and up, is is straight. Make sure I'm good first, because if I'm not good, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get nobody else good. I can't bring in no relationships or or nothing like that, no business, none of that stuff, right? So I, I say like I say all that to say, and I'm, I'm about to close. Up, I'm about to end now. So I say all that to say, man, like. But you think about ships, right? Relationships, friendships, business partnerships, all that stuff. Ships stay afloat, right? Ships make sure they 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 stay afloat, they don't drown and make sure you live, right? But if you stand stagnant or if you drown it, that's an anchor, right? So how can you float or how can you stay afloat or how can you move forward? If your anchor is dead, so if you're doing the same things that you've been doing in the past, that means your anchor is dead, man. You gotta lift that anchor up, man. And whatever that anchor is, whether it's it's a it's a vice of yours, it's a person, it's a place, a toxic place, somewhere, man, man. Look, man, lose that anchor, lose that anchor, so you can stay afloat, man, and do what you need to do, man. And then I promise you, you'll feel a whole lot better, man. Like I felt, good. And I had so many emotions when all of the paperwork went through. Like, man, ten years, ten years. I was trying to open up one so in 10 years i got three now you know what i mean that, that's going to be open so it's like man of course like you you definitely got to do some different things to get some different results so i hope this video helped y'all man cut them anchors off man um 
Stay afloat, man. Be getting, getting the right type of ship, but you got to make sure you right first, man. And don't do the things that you've been doing in the past, man. Definitely break those cycles, man, and do what you do, man. So I hope that this video helps somebody. Um, I hope that if you have not got faith, it go up to the premium faith, man. And everything in your life, it just grow, man. So uh, y'all be blessed, man. Y'all can check. Y'all can leave comments, like it, share it. Um, check my channel out. Um, go to the website www.bepreparednotscared.net um, <laughs> New self, new wealth, man So once you become new, man Just just, just stay there, man Like really just keep growing So I hope that I help y'all, man And y'all be blessed to the next time